For 120 years now, we've been using radiation to treat cancer. And radiation has become one of the three great pillars of cancer treatment. There's surgery, there's radiation, and there's chemotherapy. And for 120 years, the, the great goal has been to ra make radiation more uh, effective and more accurate. We want to be able to deliver high doses of radiation to eradicate cancers, and we want to do it in a way that minimizes the amount of radiation that we give to the normal tissues. You give radiation to the normal tissues, there'll be problems, either sooner or in some cases later. So that's what we very much aim to avoid. And radiation really was the ultimate minimally invasive therapy. It's, it's, uh, we aim to eradicate cancer without any incisions and without any knives. So for 120 years, the, the tools that we've been using to deliver radiation have been getting better and better, more and more accurate. And over the last 20 or 30 years, um, a form of radiation that's called proton beam has come into increasing clinical use. Now, proton beam is not x-rays, which uh, conventional radiation is. It's a stream of uh, proton particles. And the beauty of proton beam is that you can actually deposit the radiation exactly where you want it, right in the tumor. It's very exciting. The problem with proton beam is that where a regular um, radiation uh, delivery device, it's called a linear accelerator, costs only a million dollars or one and a half million dollars, a proton beam facility will set you back 200 million dollars. So it costs 20 times as much as conventional radiotherapy. So the big research question uh, is, is it 20 times as good? And it turns out there are some situations where it may be and some situations where it probably isn't. Um, children are uniquely sensitive to radiation, uniquely sensitive. Um, they can develop cancers as a result of radiation therapy. They can develop growth abnormalities or neurocognitive problems if they have brain tumors as a result of their, their radiation. And they live an entire life suffering the consequence of their treatment. So proton therapy is, around the world, felt to be the best form of radiation for treating pediatric cancers. And there are some other cancers in difficult to reach situations like uh, the base of the skull or melanomas on the back of the eye, where the consequences of using regular radiation can be really very severe, even for adults. So those tumors are often, around the globe, treated with, with proton beams.